Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. In the spirit of Team of the Year coming soon, I wanted to make a video today about my Team of the Year predictions, including the team that I think is going to be voted as the winning squad as a Team of the Year, and what team I think we'll see this year in FIFA 21 Ultimate Team, but as well, talk about the market and price predictions for these players using some special different metrics to kind of figure out looking at past year's prices and also looking at this year's prices for other special cards that that player has in the game because I think that is one of the most important things that you can do. Look at this year's game and kind of figure out, I was looking at kind of formulas of percentage points of where last year's and prior year team of the year players compared in price to where their pack weight was and where their other special cards were at that time to come up with a lot of these prices. So. We're gonna take a look through the team. Now I know there's voting going on. This could be totally, totally wrong from what you think could be happening. But again, this is just my prediction. Some of the players could be interchanged and I'll talk about that as well. And some players even in this prediction are not in the prediction as team of the year players. It's just gonna be their absence this year is gonna be a change. So without further ado, let's get into the defenders. The defenders in this year's team of the year and goalkeeper this is what i have drawn up again this is by my main man yaz i'll put his link down below in the description make sure you check out his work but this is what i think we're going to end up with defender wise this year in fifa we have some new players in here specifically number one alfonso davies a lot of people are curious about what alfonso davies card is going to look like how much it's going to cost his road to the final card is already very expensive almost at 700 000 coins What's his team of the year going to be like? Well, that card to me looks incredible. I think he is deserving. I think he has to get in. I hope EA puts Bayern players in this team of the year because I think they deserve it. Now, in goal, we have Allison, right? This, could, for me, could go back and forth between Allison and Neuer. And regardless of who it is, the goalkeeper is always the cheapest uh, team of the year card. Last year, Allison's car was about 450, 500,000 coins for the most part. I think this year it'd be about the same. Honestly, maybe a little less. I feel like in this year in FIFA, there's less people that use Van Dyke. There's still more people that are using uh, Joe Gomez, which could be links to Allison, but he only has an inform. Uh, you still have inform Kyle Walker that a lot of people use. And of course, maybe a team of the year Van Dyke as well. But if Neuer gets team of the year, I'm not sure how you're going to link players to him. You're going to have to use an Alaba, a Road to the Final Klosterman, or an Icon to link Neuer to your other center back, whether it be Varane, Ramos, um, or Van Dyke, or you know, even go off chem a little bit with your goalkeeper on seven chem. Neuer just doesn't link as well as Allison does. So I figured that Neuer would be a little bit more expensive though. I think in 600 to 750K if Neuer does win, and 400K again, if Allison does win the, the goalkeeper spot in team of the year this year. Now let's talk about the outside backs. We talked about Davies for a second. I think Davies price tag is going to be somewhere around, you know, 1.2 to 1.4, 1.5 million coins. I know that seems crazy for a left back. I don't know if we've ever had a left back in team of the year that has been that expensive, but I think this one will be the first guy to do it because his hype, the links are huge on that left side. I, I just picture it now a 4-3-3, uh, formation with Davies at left back and linking to a center mid Goretzka or another center mid from Liver uh, from Bayern Munich as in Kimmich uh, for another team of the year card. Just the, I already said Goretzka, but the, even the left mid position with like Douglas Costa rule breaker or some of the other high tier Bundesliga left mids that we have. We have we have a Kingsley Coleman objective card. You know, I just feel, I feel that Davies card is going to be linked a lot with other Bayern players, whether it be midfielders or other, even like a Lewandowski position change to center mid or other like Serge Gnabry freeze, SBC. I feel like that Davies card is going to have a lot of strong links on that left side. And he's going to be expensive because players that get in for the first time are usually pretty expensive. Now Davies, of course, is a left back, but there's just so much hype there. I think he's going to be the most expensive left back this team of the year in team of the year history. I think he is going to be that most expensive left back. Now on the right side, we have Trent Alexander-Arnold. Now his card last year, and we're going to go over to Flippin for this graph right here. This was the first year that Trent was in team of the year. He had never been in team of the year before this. We were very Liverpool heavy last year. His card was around a million coins to 900,000 to a million coins for the first couple weeks of team of the year. And after he did go out of packs. I think this year he's going to be a little bit cheaper because that hype 
isn't there as much as it was before. Even though there's a lot of Liverpool links, there's a lot of English links that can be had as well. I feel like this is going to be a little bit cheaper this year. 800, 900,000 coins for Trent Alexander-Arnold. Van Dijk and Ramos, two mainstays in the past uh, couple years as well as center backs. Van Dijk had so much hype last year. He has a little bit less hype this year, I think, because of his injury in the, the last few months. But I still think Van Dijk's going to be somewhere around the 2.75 to three mil range. His body type is very good in this game, and he's just a team of the year defender. People are going to want to get him in. Ramos as well, I think is going to be similar, probably in like the 2.5 million coin range for that card when it does come out. Of course, he's got Real Madrid links, a lot of Real Madrid special cards this year. Um, you know, Road to the Final Varane is already a 1.3 million coin card. So that could mean Ramos even is a little bit more than 2.5 mil, but that's kind of my card. These are the these are the actual stats I think these cards could pull this year in FIFA as well. But that's kind of my defense and goalkeeper uh, setup right there for team of the year. Let's go on to the midfield with these three players right here. We have Bruno Fernandez. Joshua Kimmich and Kevin De Bruyne. I think this is going to be your midfield this year. Of course, factoring in the amount of votes that I think people will be voting for, Bruno. Now let's talk about Bruno, right? There's one card that reminds me of Bruno. They're not really alike at all. They're, they're sort of alike, not quite. But I want to show you this card over here, and I want it to jog your memory. If you played FIFA 19, you remember the 99 rated Luka Modric Ballon d'Or winner, 99 rated Team of the Year card. This card took the market by storm. It doesn't look like the most meta item, but it was new. He was a new team of the year item. He hasn't had a team of the year really before, I don't think. Well, he did have one in FIFA 18, but in FIFA 19, he got that 99 rated card, which just made it extra special. This guy was a 3.2, kind of settled around the 2.8 million coin range on both consoles. But one thing that I was doing in my calculations for Bruno Fernandes this year is, I think I would have rated Bruno Fernandes' card a little bit lower in price than I will be today, except for now that this card is in the game. And since this item is priced at 2 million coins, I think that Bruno Fernandes, along with the hype that he has this year in FIFA, I think this card is going to be very, very expensive. I think this Bruno Fernandes card is going to be somewhere around the likes of about 3.5 to 3.75, maybe even pushing 4 million coins. It's going to be expensive because so many people are going to want it. It's going to be an incredible looking card. I even think that maybe some of the stats here, I've been underdone. I think he could have higher defending. He could have even up to 90 pace if they really wanted to boost the physical even more. But just the in-game presence of this card and how, how many special cards he's already had this year, which just adds and builds to his hype for his first team of the year in FIFA history. I think we could see a Bruno Fernandez, very expensive team of the year card this year. Joshua Kimmich is another interesting one. Last year we had De Bruyne, who was a, or sorry, not De Bruyne, De Young, which was a first year card for, as a team of the year item in FIFA 20. That card was around 1.7 to 1.8 million coins. I think Thiago, sorry, not Thiago, Kimmich. I think Kimmich is going to be a little bit cheaper than that. I think Kimmich is going to be somewhere around the 1.5 mil range. Now I was looking at his inform that just came out in FIFA. It's about 300,000 coins. And I think that making that, you know, multiplying that to about a 1.5 mil price range for that Kimmich is going to be somewhere in the realistic range. He could be somewhere to like 1.75 mil as well. And again, as I show you these prices, just to kind of give you like a knowledge base and a heads up on these prices right here, I'm not talking first day because again, as we take a look at this is team of your Conte's graph, you can see first day, they're very, very expensive. And then they dip down into that weekend when they're all in packs. I'm talking about two to three weeks after they're in packs or maybe at their lowest point, what can you expect these prices to be at? So that's where I'm pulling these prices from. Again, just as a little bit of a help and a heads up, I think that Kimmich card is going to be 1.5, 1.75. Again, links to, of course, the Lewandowski that could be in Team of the Year, the Alfonso Davies that could be in Team of the Year as well. So big links with the Bayern Munich links and German as well. And then KDB or KGB, as he is very well known as. Last year in FIFA 20, he had an insane, ridiculous Team of the Year card that was very, very expensive. And again, during Team of the Year, his Team of the Year card, or sorry, Team of the Season card was about 4 million coins when it first came out. His team of the year was about 3 million coins. I think KDB is going to be about that same price this year, 2.75 to 3. I just feel like the Bruno Fernandez hype is going to overtake the KDB hype a little bit, which might make KDB just a tight bit cheaper. But 
of course, you could link those two together in the same team, and that could be ridiculous. So that's the midfield, in my opinion, right there. Now for the front three, and this is where I think everybody is going to disagree because we have no Neymar, we have no Mbappe showing in the front three. We have Ronaldo, Lewandowski, and Messi. And this is where I think a lot of variation is going to come in. Now, Ronaldo is going to be very expensive as always. Let's get him out of the way. The past two years, he's been between 7, 8, 9, even 10 mil in FIFA 19 when his card was ridiculously cracked out. I think this year Ronaldo is again going to be in that 7.5 to 8 mil range in that first week or so period after he is out of packs around team of the year. Um, I think he's going to make the starting 11. I think Ronaldo does make the starting 11 this year. I also think that Lewandowski does as well. And Lewa, of course, with this much pace. Now, we I was looking at some Lewandowski cards from, um, from older FIFAs, right? I want to take a look at Lewandowski's uh, FIFA 20 team of the season, a 99 rated Lewandowski. This card when it first came out was 3 million coins. He quickly dropped down into like the 2 million coin range after that, just because of team of the season pack supply and stuff. But even if you take a look at Lewandowski's headliner from last year, which came out after team of the season, he, he had a million coins, 1.1 mil. That makes me think that this Lewandowski card in FIFA, the team of the year this year, is going to be somewhere around the range of 2.75 to 3 million coins. Again, first year hype being a little bit more expensive. No, he's not going to be probably 4 or 5 mil as a, as a, um, a Neymar or an Mbappe could be. I think he'll be a little bit cheaper than that because he doesn't have the five-star skills. He, of course, isn't the most meta player in the game, but I still think it's a, a Bayern Munich player that a lot of people will want to use. They're hyped to see a Lewandowski in Team of the Year. I think he's going to be 2.75 to 3 mil. And then Lionel Messi. This is an interesting one. I think Messi gets in, again, because of the popular fan vote. But I think Messi is going to be the cheapest this year than he is Cheaper this year than he has ever been. Last year, Messi's team of the year card was 4.3, 4.2 million coins. And in FIFA 19, he had the center forward card, the position change, that was 4.5, 4.6 million coins. I think this year, with just the price, and I was looking at Messi's uh, special cards that are right now, just, just for context, just for context, team of the group stage Messi right now in FIFA 21 is a one point, let's round up, a 1.5 million coin card. Last year, last year with our team of the group stage Messi, it was a 96 rated card. I think that was, that might have been a center forward. I'm not entirely sure. But last year, Messi's card was literally 800, 900,000 coins more expensive than this one for almost the same rating card in the same position. Messi this year is just so much cheaper. Gold Messi is 300,000 coins. Ridiculous. Messi is almost forgotten about in this year's FIFA, which is sad, but it unfortunately is kind of the truth. So I think Messi is going to be somewhere between 3.2 and 3.5, a bit cheaper than he has ever been before. And that's rounds it out for our first 11 in team of the year. But I do want to talk about a few more things. I have some notables here. I have some notables. We have Neymar and we have Mbappe. Both of those players, if they were to get in, I think are going to be around the five to six mil range, some somewhere in that 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 period, that range of price. Because I do think that one of them could get in. I think this year EA is not just going to do a 12th man. I think it's very possible they will do like a 12th, 13th, 14th, like a, a set of four or five players that are notables that didn't get into team of the year, but are, you know, like the, the next best, the set. Like think about the freeze cards that we had in packs, right? We had a full team of 11 of freeze and then they put out five more. I think it's possible they will do a full team of 11 and then five more after that possibly including some more of those Dortmund players, or not Dortmund, sorry, um, Bayern Munich fans are going to hate me for saying that, but Bayern Munich players that maybe didn't get in the first team, maybe like Thiago, a Liverpool player, but for his accomplishments at Bayern Munich, um, of course, people would have wanted to put Thomas Muller in there too, but maybe some of the other fan voted cards too, like more fun cards that could get in that notable section as well. I think EA might do that this year. Now I have a Conte card in here. I don't think Conte is getting a team of the year, but I put this card design in here and this concept just for the fact that this is the first year in a while that we haven't, that we won't be seeing a Conte. We had a FIFA 20 Conte, we had a FIFA 19 Conte, and a FIFA 18 Conte as well. I don't think we're going to be seeing Conte this year. So RIP to one of the most fun and packable and OP uh, team of the year cards 
that we've ever had in FIFA for the past few years. That's why I put that in there. And then, of course, some other notables that could get in with the voting, depending on how it sways. Robertson as left back. I think Davies gets in, but I think Robertson has a possibility. And then a Neuer, of course, I talked about him with Allison. And then I put Renato Sanchez in here, again, for that voting point, right? Since there's so many of these Team of the Year nominees that are just like FIFA fun items, right? Like we, we, we look through this list on, a, on a, a very small scale and very fine print right now. But we have guys like Ben Yedder that is included in the vote. We have guys like Joao Felix that are included in the vote. We have guys like Hyun Min Sun that are included in the vote. What if one of these players has a pretty high, you know, total vote or, um, you know, a very high number of votes in FIFA or Renato Sanchez even in this team of the year vote? Does EA find a way to put some of these guys in? I don't even know what a Renato Sanchez team of the year card would cost like this. I mean, it would probably be 2.5 to 3 million coins because it would be ridiculously insane. Even his road to the final item right now is a million. So I think that is where we're going to be landing for our team of the year this year. And I think this front three is going to be where it changes the most. I, I feel like the back line, Ramos, VVD, Trent, Alfonso Davies is not set, but I feel like that's pretty concrete. Maybe the goalkeeper flips between Allison and Neuer. Um, but those are kind of my team of the year price predictions and the team predictions itself. I wanted to put this together with the new graphics, of course. Now, I hope they use this card design because this card design is way better than the supposed leaked one. I just like the whole the design around it. It looks way more regal again than the one that I saw that was supposedly leaked in the code. But I wanted to put this video out today, a team of the year prediction with a market twist. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace.